Did you know that ancient Romans used powdered mouse brains as toothpaste? Or that they cleaned their clothes with urine? The Roman Empire was known for its powerful soldiers and conquests, but it was also known for some seriously strange customs. From bizarre hygiene practices to shocking punishments and unusual laws, the daily life of Romans was full of oddities. These are some strange facts about the Roman Empire. First up, the Romans used powdered mouse brains as toothpaste. Yes, you heard that right. In their quest for a perfect smile, they believed that this peculiar mixture could clean their teeth effectively. Speaking of unusual uses for body parts, the Romans believed that gladiator blood and body parts had medicinal properties. Physicians often prescribed drinking gladiator blood to treat epilepsy. Some even believed that using gladiator sweat as a face cream could enhance beauty. It seems the Romans were willing to go to great lengths for their health and beauty treatments. Another strange Roman practice involved using urine to wash clothes. They discovered that the ammonia in urine was excellent for cleaning and bleaching. Laundry workers collected urine in large vessels placed on the streets, which people would fill. The practice was so common that Emperor Vespasian even imposed a tax on urine collection. While we're on the topic of taxes, let's talk about how Romans regulated fashion. In ancient Rome, the color purple was reserved exclusively for the emperor and high-ranking officials. The dye was incredibly expensive to produce, requiring thousands of mollusks to create a small amount. Wearing purple if you were not of the elite class could result in severe punishment. It was a clear sign of power and status in Roman society. Blonde hair was rare among native Romans, who generally had dark hair. To distinguish brothel workers from respectable Roman women, a law was enacted that required brothel workers to dye their hair blonde, or wear blonde wigs. Over time, this led to a fashion trend among Roman women who started dyeing their hair blonde to emulate the exotic look. From fashion statements to dining customs, Romans had some peculiar habits. Wealthy Romans dined in style, often lying down on couches while eating. This practice was believed to aid digestion and reduce bloating. Elaborate feasts featured exotic dishes like dormice stuffed with nuts and honey, and even peacock tongues. These banquets were a display of wealth and status, with the host aiming to impress their guests with the most luxurious and unusual foods. Speaking of social events, public toilets in ancient Rome were quite the social hub. These communal latrines lacked privacy, with no partitions between seats. People would often conduct business and socialize while doing their business. To clean themselves, Romans used a sponge on a stick known as a tersorium, which was shared and seldom cleaned. It's no surprise that these toilets were hot spots for spreading diseases like typhoid and cholera. Romans had some of the most brutal punishments, but the one for patricide is the worst. If someone was found guilty of killing their father, they were sentenced to a gruesome execution method known as poena culi. The guilty person was sewn into a leather sack, along with a dog, a rooster, a monkey, and a snake, and then thrown into a river. Yikes. Yeah, speaking of dads, in the patriarchal society of ancient Rome, fathers had immense power over their families. They could sell their children into slavery, but only twice. A third sale emancipated the child from the father's authority. Fathers could also legally kill their children, although this practice was eventually restricted to cases where the child had committed a crime. Oh, and if you thought that was crazy, wait till we reveal this next one. The Colosseum is famous for hosting gladiator games, but these events were not always as chaotic as we imagine. Gladiators were often matched by weight class and fighting style, and fights to the death were less common than we think. Referees could stop fights if a gladiator was seriously injured, and sometimes the crowd or emperor decided the fate of the defeated. Also, Roman feasts often featured bizarre and exotic dishes. At one banquet in Rome, guests were served hundreds of ostrich brains. These feasts were not just about food, but about showing off wealth and status. The more exotic and rare the dish, the higher the status of the host. But it wasn't just about eating. The Romans believed that proper funeral rites were essential for the soul's journey to the afterlife. Wealthy families hired professional mourners to wail at funerals, ensuring a dramatic and sorrowful event. They also believed in the practice of placing a coin in the mouth of the deceased to pay Chiron, the ferryman, to take their soul across the river Styx. Slavery was an integral part of Roman society, but there was a unique aspect to it. Slaves could sometimes earn their freedom and even become wealthy. A famous example is Trimalchio, a character in the Roman novel Satyricon, who was a freed slave that became rich and powerful. This potential for social mobility, albeit limited, was a unique feature of Roman society. The Great Fire of Rome in 64 CE destroyed 10 of the city's 14 districts, 
Emperor Nero was rumored to have started the fire to clear land for his new palace, though he blamed the Christians, leading to severe persecutions. Historians now believe the fire could have been accidental, given Rome's susceptibility to fires. That's not all, though. Romans also had strange beliefs about medicine and health. For example, they thought cobwebs could be used to stop bleeding. Cobwebs were often used in combination with vinegar or honey to disinfect wounds and promote healing. Despite its effectiveness, this practice seems quite unusual to us today. The Romans also had a unique approach to dealing with baldness. Julius Caesar, one of Rome's most famous leaders, was very self-conscious about his thinning hair. He even made it illegal for anyone to stand above him and look down, lest they see his bald spot. If caught, you could be put to death for such an offense. When Roman soldiers were first ordered to invade Britain in 43 AD, they went on strike on the grounds that it was beyond the known world and there could even be monsters. The soldiers were eventually convinced to proceed, but it shows how even the mighty Roman legions could be superstitious and fearful. They also had some strange and elaborate rituals. For example, they celebrated Saturnalia, a festival in December where social norms were reversed. Slaves and masters would swap places, and there was a general atmosphere of merriment and chaos. This festival is thought to have influenced the later traditions of Christmas. Let's not forget the peculiar ways Romans entertained themselves. Beyond gladiatorial games, they had staged naval battles called nomachiae. These were real battles fought in large artificial lakes or even the flooded Colosseum. Prisoners and slaves were often the combatants, and these events were as deadly as they were spectacular. And if you think that's a little unexpected, you are not prepared for this next one. The practice of eating dormice was a delicacy among wealthy Romans. Dormice were fattened in special jars and then cooked with honey and poppy seeds. This dish was considered a luxury and a status symbol at Roman feasts. Another interesting aspect of Roman life was their belief in household gods called Lares and Penates. Every household had a shrine to these gods, who were believed to protect the home and family. Offerings of food and drink were made to ensure their favor. It's undeniable that the Romans were also innovative engineers. They built extensive road networks that connected the far reaches of their empire. These roads were so well constructed that some are still in use today. They also built aqueducts to bring fresh water into cities, improving public health and sanitation. In terms of politics, the Romans had a complex system of checks and balances. The Senate, consuls, and assemblies each had their roles, and this system influenced the development of modern democratic governments. The Roman Republic's model of governance has had a lasting impact on political systems around the world. Despite all their advancements, the Romans had some odd legal practices. For example, under certain circumstances, they allowed the concept of self-help, where individuals could take the law into their own hands. This led to situations where personal vendettas could be legally settled outside the courtroom. The Roman Empire was a world of grand achievements and strange practices. From bizarre hygiene routines to extreme punishments and luxurious lifestyles, these facts give us a glimpse into the daily life and oddities of ancient Rome. If you enjoyed this dive into the past, don't forget to click on the next video to learn more about some crazy times in history.